Yeah. It's the Drill Professor, and today we're going to be going over Gra Gra Boom 101, the study of drill psychology. In our first lecture, we're going to be talking about S.Go. S.Go, also known as his real name, Shadon Dodelius Gogantuan III, was born on April 5th, 2005. S.Go is part of the Sweepers Collective that pioneered the way for Dark Jersey Drill in NYC. As many of you might not know, S.Go and the Sweepers are not from the Bronx. They're from the Upper East Side, which is considered Manhattan, which means they are not Bronx drill rappers. But they sound like them though. The Sweepers Collective pioneered the Dark Jersey Wave, popular in NYC, with S.Go's WNA garnering over 6 million views for the live performance. He also has some songs with the rest of the Sweepers and also by his solo, Triple Threat and Grinchin, and throw a few with over 1 million views on YouTube as well. So, as you can see, S.Go and the Sweepers are kind of taking over in the drill scene as of recent. Now down to the beat selection. S.Go and the Sweepers unfortunately can't remember where they're from, so they accidentally loaded a Jersey beat into the project. In simpler terms, it's really just going to be some dark drill sound and samples with repetitive rhythms with Jersey drums and percussions with a drill spice on the 808s and as well as effects. S.Go's beats are going to be also very spacious and going to include some hard hitting spins 808s that kind of take and lead the charge with the rest of the track. <coughs> Another unique element to these dark jersey drill beats is they're also going to include some drum fills at the end of the A bars just to make the drums hit even harder on the drops. So, starting off with our repetitive sample, we're going to be sampling C. Honcho, another one. <laughs> Alright, I don't know if anybody remembers. I don't know if anybody remembers C. Dot Huncho around the 2K16 days, but he used to be going crazy. Let me like this video real quick. Also, I ain't trying to get copyrighted. I don't really know the rules behind Lyrical Lemonade videos, but yeah. Alright, so this is what I did to the sample. I just made it repeat every four bars. And then in terms of the 808, this is what I did to it. The key of the sample after I pitched it down and pitched it up and did whatever I had to do with it ended up being D sharp minor. So I just keep the keys in D sharp minor. Um, also another tip with this, y'all can turn on helpers, go on to scale and highlighting, and then select your key of the sample. And then you kind of got the ghost notes for it. As you can see, some of these are probably not in key. So uh, I probably should change these, yeah. So this is literally just a spins 808 with the velocity cranked up all the way to the max. Pretty straightforward. I think I also put like some distortion, uh, stereo enhancers and whatnot on this. Um, just to add some extra stuff and then blood overdrive as well. I also layered the 808 with this kick that I had cranked up all the way and pitched down to a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, bro. When y'all are making dark jersey drill beats, you guys need to pitch your kicks because the kicks don't hit as hard with the 808 at certain notes. So when you bring it down, like as for instance i brought it down from like c to a sharp it hit way harder bro so you all need to make sure you're messing around with the pitches of your kicks especially on these type of beats where you kind of need your kicks to hit hard also added this snap i made it kind of fade in just for some extra bounce this stapler sound slash gun cock Also added this random crunch perk that sounded good with the with the gun cock. This whip crack added a vox as well. And then last but not least, the signature sweepers bell. All the drums together kind of sounded something like this. Alright, now moving on. I also added some variation to the sample over here with a couple of chops. Speaking of variation, I also added a gross beat to the last part of the 808 to make it sound like more of like a drum fill. Alright guys, so as you can see, that's most if not all the components of the beat. I just added a fade out at the end and then my tags and that's pretty much it. But here's the full thing. Like 
I wasn't ready for the push change though. class that's about the end of the lecture hope y'all enjoyed the breakdown of this s.go type beat and the backstory of the leading sweeper make sure y'all turning in y'all homework which is going to be to listen to the full beat link in the bio check out my beat star store check out my type beat channel and like and subscribe for now class is dismissed i'm saying dog